Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are taking a look at a brand new 2024 Surveyor Legend 276 BHLE travel trailer. This is a one slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what this is all about and some of the new changes for 2024. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Surveyor Legend 276 BHLE here. And I just wanted to kind of run you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what it's all about. So first things up, we have a super slide system over here. It is a 12 volt electric slide system and it has a theater seat, manual theater seat to flip back and recline here. And then you have a traditional booth dinette. The booth dinette will go down and make into bed. And then it has two storage doors that swing open, allowing you to store stuff underneath of there as well. Big windows in that slide out area and you have pull down night roller shades on those windows. The colors changed up for 2024. So you have new valances, new countertop colors, new wood colors, new furniture colors, new hardware on your cabinetry and stuff. So a whole new look for 2024. And you can see down here, even the slide floor matches the main subfloor now. So no carpet and no woven material like you see on a lot of them. Uh, they're actually using a matching linoleum. Directly across from your theater seat is going to be your TV up there. So it is on a swing arm so you can kind of maneuver it around if you want to. You have a little uh, bar stool area right there so you got some extra seating area for guests. There's a heat duct coming out the side of the cabinet right there as well. Now directly over to my left right here, you have USB charger ports, electric outlet, and your Furion stereo. There is some cabinet space down below and up above as well. High rise sprayer faucet. You have an undermount stainless style sink there. Currently using the Furion oven as the glass front, light inside, light up knobs, three burner gas stovetop with a flip down glass lid for extra counter space if you're not cooking. There's a little cutting board backsplash back there as well. You have the Furion hood range light and fan, Furion microwave as well. Some storage here, kind of a little spice rack up above the microwave. There's three drawers and these are full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Now right here's a nice little safety feature that comes standard on the RV. This is a tire pressure monitoring system. So when you're traveling down the road, you take this part into your truck with you and kind of Keep an eye on what's going on with your tires while you're traveling around. You do have a remote for your TV and a remote for your stereo as well. There's an electric outlet USB charger ports back there on the counter. Little bottle opener thing here. Some storage under your sink area here. And then you also have your uh, road vac, central vac slash dustpan vac as well and another little area down below the oven that you could stash some spices or something. Furnace return down below. Electric box with the breakers and fuses below your Furion refrigerator there. There's a heat duct coming out there as well. And they're using the 10.7 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So you have your freezer up top And then you got your refrigerator part down below here. And there is an on off control on there as well. Now next to the refrigerator area here, you have a pretty good size pantry.
Nice wide bunks back here. You have a built-in metal ladder for the kids to get up onto the top bunk there. Storage down here, but this part of the bunk will actually flip up. So there's a little shock assist on there and you can flip that up and give you a little more room for some of the kids' toys and stuff. There's a USB charger port and a light on the side, window on the side as well. Same thing up top here, USB charger port and light and a window. Pull across curtains for your windows back there and a privacy curtain as well. Back here is your bathroom area. So you have a porcelain foot flush toilet, the Furion on-demand water heater controls right here, electric outlet, little sink area, and medicine cabinet area. We'll look at that from the other direction here shortly. The entry exit door here has a traditional screen door. Um, you'll see when we get back outside, but it's the glass front entry door. It has a window built in that is Lippert Thin Shade ready, so you can buy an aftermarket shade for that. There is also a little vent fan up here, skylight up above, ABS tub surround, and you also have a pull across vinyl curtain, step and shower. This is I don't know, probably about a four inch deep shower pan. So if you did have a small baby or something and you needed to give them a bath, you probably could do so. On the front of the uh, cabinet there, you have your monitor panel for your water tank, 12 volt heat pad holding tank switches so you can winter camp, um, water pump switch, so you got a few little controls there. But overall, a pretty decent sized bathroom for an RV. Looking up at the ceiling, there are a couple speakers in here, ducted AC as well. Now, this one was ordered with two ACs. See right here, you have AC control and furnace control. There's gonna be another one in the bedroom. Awning in and out button, some light switches, slide out in and out button, and go power 30 amp solar charge controller as the unit does have a 200 watt solar panel on it. Traditional entry door, exit door over here again, and you have that Lippert Thin Shade Ready window there. Into your bedroom area. This again changed up a little bit. So you have hanging closet on each side. There is also drawers on each side as well. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. There is Electric outlet, USB charger port down below. The bed will raise up, there's storage, there's a motion light in here now. And then you can also see drawer here. There's two drawers on the front area. They look like they're probably about six inches deep roughly, but nice little drawer area there. There's TV hookups over there on the wall. And then the second AC control over there as well, if you do the second AC, and it drops in right here. Sliding door for privacy. You can also see back there, you have little shelf space and cup holders as well. But overall, a nice new look for 2024 here. Now I wanna head outside real quick show you around the outside, and then we're gonna come back in here and close this thing up. Again, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're definitely gonna save you a lot of money if you're interested in something like this. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Surveyor Legend 276 BHLE. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have new graphics package for 2024. So you'll notice that as a difference as we're walking around here. 
We have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a lesser expensive wood Luan backer. Foam block insulated aluminum studded sidewalls. You have a lower black metal skirting, deep tent safety glass windows, power awning with an LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, manual override in the front arm head and adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. There's a pretty good size pass-through storage compartment area right here. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing, a little motion light in here as well. The baggage door held up by a magnetic clip with a little bit nicer locking mechanism on it as well. The unit has an enclosed underbelly also. This one was ordered with the heavy duty scissor stabilizer jacks. You have the Lippert solid entry step at both entry doors. That is an upgraded step, a little heavier duty. Comes down, touches the ground, doesn't rock and shake the RV as bad when you're walking in and out. Large folding entry handle on both uh, entry doors as well, where a lot of them just do it on the main entry door. Traditional entry door and screen door as far as size and stuff, but right here you'll also notice that it is the uh, G-class safety glass entry door. When you're out checking them out, you'll see a little sales pitch stuff that they have on there as well. Just kind of pointing out a lot of construction features and things as well. Goodyear Endurance tire sticker there. Just kind of reminding you that this thing is rolling on Goodyear Endurance tires. Aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs, and you also have that tire pressure monitoring system, which is a really big safety feature to have. Also, you'll notice there is a little uh, step light there on that step. Cold water spray port has a little dump sink area right here. 110 volt mini fridge and then room over here on the left for your gas griddle that comes with it as well it to set up right there. Just down below, there's a little sticker hanging down there. That's where you plug in that gas griddle. You have two outdoor speakers. You also have a traditional porch light. It's very uh, rare in a lot of uh, brands to find a porch light and an LED light strip on your awning. Usually you only get one or the other. Furnace exhaust out right here. You have an electric outlet and a cable outlet right here. So you could set you up a TV out here if you want. And you have your black tank flush there as well. So you can flood and rinse out your toilet tank. Scissor jacks on the rear of the RV as well. Spare tire mountain cover on the back. Traditional four inch square tube bumper. Now they also started putting a two inch hitch receiver on the back of the RV. This is not to tow a boat or anything crazy like that. This is just to do like a bike rack or something if you wanted to. You have prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go Portable Ladder. So that's that black rectangle up there. Basically, it's an aftermarket telescoping ladder that you can buy. It comes down, touches the ground, but it attaches up there so you can safely get up and down on and off your RV roof or do an inspection. Very important to inspect your roof seals and stuff. In the top center up there is also prepping for the Furion Rear Observation Camera. That is another nice safety feature to consider adding. Talk with your salesperson about that as well. Um, that right there allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. So definitely check that feature out. Now this one, as you've seen when we were inside, was ordered with two ACs, which requires 50 amp electric service to do so. So you have a detachable power cord here that's probably, I'd say close to 30 feet long. Little storage area back here as well. It's a removable access panel there on the right, so you can occasionally check your city water fitting uh, to make sure it's not leaking or anything. 
Next to that electric outlet is the city water fitting. Now just down below here in the back is your black and gray dump tank area right here. Most people pull the black first, that's the larger three inch tube, get all the nasty out, and then you pull the gray, which is the inch and a half tube, and that helps rinse out your dump hose and everything. Slide out is prepped for the Solair slide toppers. That's another nice feature to consider adding aftermarket. It is basically an awning that goes over top of your slide room as you run that in and out. It uh, kind of goes in and out with the slide, but it helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, and things that might come down onto it. So you're less likely to have any type of issues with your slide out. There's a cable slash satellite inlet there in case you go somewhere that has cable or if you want to do a portable satellite or something, you can hook it right there on the side. Just down below right here, you have hot and cold low point water drains. You have your fresh water tank drain as well. Right up here, you can see your Gerard on demand water heater and your gravity fresh water tank fill as well. This does open up, so you kind of see what that looks like inside there. Over here, the other side of your storage compartment. And then we have some really important informational stickers right here as well. Um, production date sticker. For example, this one was built 615 of 23. You have your VIN number on here. You have your gross vehicle weight on here. So you have a gross weight of 7,650 pounds. You have your dry weight sticker over here telling us that this thing weighed 6,417 pounds when it rolled off the factory assembly line. 32 feet, six inches in length. You have your tire sticker here, 20575R15D range tires with a 65 cold PSI. Very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure on any RV. Front end is kind of rounded. Does have the windshield on the front. You have power tongue jack with an LED light built in, manual override in case of an electronic failure. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball. You have the heavy duty safety chains, breakaway cable, there's also a seven-way Bargman wiring plug there as well. There's a little holder on the side of the frame for that also. Room for one or possibly two batteries to go on the front here, depending on the size of the battery. Now, they do not come with any from the factory, but they will come with at least one from Couches RV Nation if you purchase a new RV from them. There's a battery disconnect right here. And then the little yellow box is the repeater for the tire pressure monitoring system. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator under that hard bottle cover. But a lot of nice new changes, a new fresh look for the Surveyor product. All right guys, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 Surveyor 276 BHLE here. And I just wanted to take a minute and show you what this thing looks like closed up and kind of how it works. So when you are ready to close things up, you have to come in, make sure that everything is out of the way of the slide. So make sure you sweep your floor. You can't have any rocks or pebbles or kids toys or you know pet food, anything that might be on the floor that could get trapped in between the slide floor and your linoleum and damage your linoleum. Once you know your floor is clean, then right here on your little control panel, you're gonna have your slide in and out button right here. And basically all you're gonna do is just push the button. The slide out comes in at a slight angle to come over top of the subfloor. And it's gonna come in and basically stop Kind of make like a little bit of a ratchety noise. It's a electric 12 volt system that uh, is a worm gear system. It's a slip gear. So once it gets in, you'll kind of hear that noise. Okay, so we are in all the way now. 
just kind of step back here so you can kind of see when you walk into this section of the rv you could come into your master bedroom no problem you know there nothing's really interfering in here so if you're stopping at a rest area and you want to come in take a nap you could do so no interference there but getting through this part of the rv is a little tricky uh, it comes in very, very close right here. So you could squeeze through here. The kids could definitely get through here, most likely pretty easy. Worst case scenario, you could kind of step over your dinette backer there and stuff like that. Now you do have the back door coming into the bathroom area. So if you're just coming in to, say, load your fridge at a grocery store or something, and you want to throw some things into the refrigerator and get them cool while you're driving down the road, you can go right in the back door and open up the fridge and come in that way. Or send the kids back there. They could take a nap at that rest area while you're napping up front. So you can use the RV with it closed up. It is obviously a little snug right here in this section, but you still can kind of get around things. Now, when you are ready to bump it back out, all you gotta do is hit the button to go back out. It just goes straight on back out, kind of the same way it came in. And again, this is a 12 volt slide system. So as long as you got a pretty good charged up battery, you should be able to run this thing in and out pretty easily. Now be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with my RV videos. We're gonna have a lot of new 2024s rolling in over the coming months, and we'll be getting you updates. Thanks again.